Hi, Laura. What are you doing? Hi, Owen. I'm helping to organize an arts and crafts fair in Appleville this year. I was asked to find out when it's best to have it. The weather was so bad the last few years we had the fair that there were very few visitors. It was cold and it rained all the time. The fair would be more successful if it was warmer and sunny. How can you know when it will be warm and sunny? I found these statistics from the past 50 years. The statistics tell me what the average temperature and rainfall is for each month. I can see here that in April, the month when we've held the fair the last few years, it's only 50 degrees Fahrenheit on average, and it rains 7 inches in a month, which is a lot of rain. So, April is a very rainy and quite cold month. When I look at the average temperature and precipitation for April, I can see why it wasn't the best month to hold the fair. Okay, then it should be simple to find out what the best month to have the fair in would be. Just choose the month with the highest temperature and the least rainfall. Exactly, but it's not that simple. Look at July, for instance. It's the warmest month of the year on average, but it also rains quite a bit. What about September? It doesn't seem to rain that much on average. No, but it can be very chilly in September. But look here. By using these statistics, I can make a chart. Here. By putting the temperature chart on top of the precipitation chart, I can see that August is quite a warm month, and it doesn't rain that much either. So, August would be the best month to have the arts and crafts fair. Yes. Now have a look yourself. Which would be the worst month to hold the fair? Let me look at the chart you made. It looks like the coldest and rainiest month is November. Precisely. And look. You can also add how windy it is on average each month, if you want to take that into consideration. November is a very windy month as well. August, on the other hand, is not a very windy month. So, I would say we should choose August for the fair. But how do you know it won't be rainy that day? Or cold? I don't know for sure. But the chart that I made, based on statistics, tells me that it is usually warm and sunny in August. So, I can predict with a reasonable amount of certainty, that it will be warm and sunny, even on the day of the fair. So, can we predict the future using charts? No, not exactly, but we can see what the weather of a place is usually like, and use those patterns to make an educated guess, about what it will be like, at a certain time of the year. I wonder what the weather will be like, when we go to our cabin up by Lake Clear this summer. Why don't you find the weather statistics for the area, make a chart and find out.